I'm Josh Bootsma, Managing Editor of the Lansing Journal, joined today by Andrew Harotunian of the Lansing Public Library. We're coming to you today from the basement of the Lansing Public Library. The Lansing Journal, of course, is Lansing's only newspaper, and we are committed to building community by keeping people informed and connected. And today, we are informing you and connecting you to virtual reality at the Lansing Public Library. So Andrew, thanks for chatting with us. We've sure. been talking a lot this summer. It's been great with the we book have. bike and a lot of the other programs. Yes, so we have. Yeah, it's been good to connect. Yeah, Exciting stuff. Mm -hmm. um, this is a program that the library has been doing. Can you tell us a little bit about what virtual reality is and what it looks sure. like at the Lansing Library? Yeah, sure. So here's the virtual reality headset that we have. Um, it's wireless, and you can install all of the apps and games on here directly okay. uh, with like your phone or an iPad. So uh, these are like like goggles, that, and, you, and you're seeing like a computer screen inside your mm -hmm. headset. Then. Yep. Once you put these on, you are transformed into uh, the virtual reality experience. Uh, okay. And currently, this transformation is available only in limited mm -hmm. in limited settings here at the library. Correct. Yeah. This is a senior-only program for right now. Um, okay. Once September rolls out, we have some other cool plans for these. Okay. Um, but at the moment, this is a senior exclusive program, um, really dedicated just to show them how the VRs are the future, um, what they're capable of doing. Okay. When you say seniors only, that's a like a specified time and place program? You're, you're here in this in this room? Yeah. What does that look like? Yeah. So we're here in the community room, um, one, um, second Wednesdays um, okay. at 1 to 2. Okay. Um, and they really just get to explore what these are all about. Um, there's um, a good number of different games on here that they can kind of play and, you know, um, explore. And um, we usually just have the room set up with about 10 chairs here. And uh, I coach them and guide them through if they're getting stuck with something. Mm. And I can kind of see it on the, on the big screen there. So, okay. yeah, yeah. So when you say you've 10 people, this is one headset. It's not like everyone's watching one person. Each person has their own individual that, headset. That that's wear. correct. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Each person has their own VR um, on. Now, if I were to ask just an average person out in Lansing, if I were to say to them, all right, the library is going to introduce VR, mm -hmm. guess what age group they're going to be releasing it for to start? <laughs> I think the last answer of a lot of people would be seniors. Mm -hmm. And I know my personal experience in seeing it advertised, there's always young people like I'm designing a building in the virtual space or I'm, you know, playing this new this new cutting edge video game a new way and it seems geared towards younger people. Yeah. So what about VR is appealing to seniors and why did the library choose to market it to seniors to start? Sure, yeah. VRs are capable of a lot of things, not just video games. Mm -hmm. um, there's a lot of educational apps on here um, and videos um, as long as uh, entertainment games and fitness related games. Um, so really, um, if you wanted to uh, get an exercise in and a really good exercise, uh, the VR is actually really capable of doing that. Hmm. Um, you can play tennis, you can play basketball, all the way to mini golf, actual golf, um, hmm. and even paintball if you if that was something you're, you were cool. interested in. Yeah. Um, and you can hop on, on these with your friends and join your friends in the actual virtual world and mm. do those things together. On top of fitness related games, there's puzzle games, adventure games. Um, you can travel the world in these and see mm. the pyramids of Egypt. Um, wow. Up close and personal. So, That's yeah. Very cool. Mm -hmm. So, have you developed some uh, senior VR converts here at the library? A couple of them, yes. Okay. A, a, lot, a, a good <laughs> number of them said this is like one of the coolest things that they've experienced recently. I love that. So, yeah. I would love to uh, see this thing in action. Sure, we can uh, do that. Melanie's behind the camera. I think we're going to step out and, and see exactly what this thing do. This is the Oculus? Or? This is, yeah, this is the Oculus uh, Meta Pro 2. Okay. Yeah. All right, I'm All right, ready, ready to. This is my first experience with VR. All right. So I, I feel safe with Andrew. Yes. So you're just going to put that on. Um, and you see this dial back here? You're going to turn it to the right to tighten it to a comfortable level on your head. I'm dialing in. All right. Now. That's cool. You're going to take your right hand and you're going to make a fist. Okay. There you go. Now you're holding it. Now with your thumb, you feel these buttons here. Yes. And if you move your thumb here like that, you get your oh. buttons, and then you have a joystick there, and same on the other side. Now with your index fingers, 
You see these triggers here? Yes. Just like that. Oh, Feel those? two triggers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so if you look around, like look behind you, uh, just straight on behind you, you have the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> like maybe look down and it's look up. It's like a, uh, I don't know, a, a foreign palace with palm trees and. Yeah. Okay. So you are now in first contact. Um, take a look spaceship? around. Yep, take a look around to your left and right. You are in an RV. Oh. Yes. I've never been in an RV either. <laughs> now, there's a little robot right in front of you. You see him on the counter? Yes. And uh, if you look up just a little bit, you see how it wants you to press that down with your hand? So you're going to need to reach your hand out and push it down, just like an old... Uh, like touch this thing? Yep, now push it down with your hand. Just move your hand down. <laughs> like you're physically doing it, like you're physically gonna close it. So you're gonna wanna move your hand down now. Am I doing this? <laughs> nope, see, let's see. do you mind if I hold here? Oh, you got it, you got it. Okay. Oh. He's waving at you, so wave back. Maybe try waving back with the left hand. Keep waving at him. <laughs> He's got to come out. Now you're going to want to squeeze the trigger with your index finger. And there you go. Now you're actually holding it. Now look to your right and put it in the, that TV there. <laughs> there you go. Now see if you can catch those butterflies with your hand. Really? Yeah. Stick your finger out maybe. I don't want to crush them. No. There he goes. You got it. There you go. <laughs> it's a little laser gun. You can shoot the targets with it. Oh, there's targets. Yeah. And that was the tech demo. Wow. Yeah. It was um, strange. Like you have to figure out which triggers do what. Mm -hmm. um, but it is so, strange because you're in a virtual world. Yeah. Sometimes your brain's like, wait, what's going on? Because yeah. it looks pretty real. And there's no latency with the controllers or your head movement. So everything's very fluid. I'll just do Beat Saber. This one would be especially good for fitness, too. Normal. You want to try normal or you want to try harder expert or plus? <laughs> Let's start with normal because we're, we're on camera after all, Andrew. I don't want to embarrass okay. myself too bad. So the goal of this is just to hit exactly where the arrows are pointing. Oh, I see. Yeah, on the cubes. There you go. Now What's watch that? out for that wall. Oh, I have to watch out for the walls? Yep, too. you might need to dodge to this the left. This is just right. like dancing in my own living room. I have to watch out for the walls. So if the wall's coming for you, just lean Oops. over to the left and to the right. Okay. 13, 14, 15, 16. So you're hitting them all. Ooh. There you go. That was a nice one. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> so fancy. But you did it. Nice. <laughs> Lightsaber applause. Oh, the light of day again. <laughs> yeah. Right. Welcome back to the real world. You really do get immersed into that virtual reality. So as a first timer myself, I, I want to let people know there is nothing to be afraid of. <laughs> um, it, 
it is strange. It takes a little getting used to, mm -hmm. but Andrew was here the whole time, and so, for example, there were times you might be able to to see where where I couldn't get the button to work. You were telling me to, to press a button or to pick mm -hmm. something up or something, and, and it wasn't responding to what I was doing. Yeah. Andrew saw that, and then he took over and got the thing to work again, so that was a nice way to figure out Okay, here's how, how to, it works. Yeah, I yeah. have to grip this. Mm -hmm. I have to. Mm -hmm. I can see my hands. But I couldn't see my feet. <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah. Stuff like that was. It was a nice introduction. Oh, thank you. Yeah, yeah. I hope you had a fun time experiencing that, and uh, even experiencing some of the other games. I know, Josh. Uh, what do you think of Beat Saber? Beat Saber was really fun. I could see how, like, not only is it a fun game, but I could see how, you know, oh, I. I, I didn't finish it, or I want to beat my high score, and all of a sudden you've spent 15, 20 minutes, and you're actually like out of oh. breath or something, you know, in a way that just doing other exercise for 20 minutes might feel like a chore. Playing Beat Saber, you can really get some, almost some cardio going. Yeah, 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 because you can buy little wristbands too for Yeah, it. to make that heavier. Uh, yeah, yeah, make it a little bit more difficult for you. Um, but there's all sorts of different uh, fitness uh, games related on the VR. There's canoeing, mount climbing, boxing, baseball, basketball, all that stuff. Yeah. So you can get transformed into it and just kind of forget about it. And yeah. next thing you know, you're like, oh, I burned 200 calories. Or, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And even if you didn't want to buy your own, could you come, eventually you're hoping to make these available in the library of things. Correct, yeah. Mm -hmm. So we so come to the library and instead of going to the fitness center. You could, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, you could rent these out for up to 21 days uh, once they will be on the library of things. Okay. So, uh, yeah. Absolutely. When is when is kind of the projected time that that'll be? It's going to be around next next year some, sometime. Okay. Yeah, so 2024, uh, probably early in the year. So for those of you who are not seniors, you'll have to wait till that time. For those of you who are seniors, maybe try it now while, uh, right. while it's seniors only. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> get, your, get some experience into it, see what it's all about. Yeah, thumbs up from uh, the Lansing Journal as far as VR at the library goes. All right. Come on over and give it a try. I was, I was happy to learn something new today. Yeah. Awesome. I'm glad you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for showing yeah. us around. Yeah, no problem. We'll see you next time. See you next time.